last chapter and I'm really excited. Can't wait to hear how it all ends. Um, the chapter is called An Unexpected Ending. So I've had a little think to think about what could that unexpected ending be? Hmm, don't know. Let's find out. Well, there we are. When Perilous got home, he was beaming from ear to ear. Unfortunately, neither Flavia nor Chrysius was at all pleased. You went chariot racing, snapped Chrysius. You behave just like a common slave. You went chariot racing, moaned Flavia. You could have been shipwrecked, killed. How could you? It was so thoughtless of you. I was out of my mind with worry. Perilous looked at me and pulled a face. I think he was wondering what he could say. So I said it for him. In fact, Perius has been extraordinarily brave. He only went to the circus to assist young Scorcher, who, as you know, is languishing in jail. It was Scorcher's opportunity to earn his place in the green team. And now Perilous has, has done that for him. I think Perilous deserves some respect for that at, his ver at the very least. He went to look after his friend. That's what friends do. It's so much better than stabbing him in the back, like what happened to poor Caesar with happened to poor Caesar. Chrysius and Flavia looked at me and then at her son. Um, I suppose, began Chrysius, that if you look at it like that, then there is something to be said for your bravery, perilous. But please do not disappear like that again. No patter, I shan't. So, all was well, wasn't it? Well, no. It wasn't, actually, because Chrysius waved a hand at Perilous and Hysteria and told them both to go away because he needed to talk to Flavia. Not in front of the children, eh? You know what that means, don't you? Maybe not, so I shall explain. Once again, Chrysius had that worried look, as if he knew there was a large and ravenous bear waiting around the corner to gobble him up, but he didn't know which corner or when it would pounce. Something awkward was going on. Chrysius had become, had become very secretive of late. He'd been wandering around for days with his head in his hands. No, no, not literally. It is an expression. I do keep telling you. Anyhow, you may remember, and I do so hope you do, that I had seen Chrysius not at work at the Mint, but hiding out in the tavern, drowning his sorrows, whatever they were. Something had been bothering him for a while, so I decided I would go and hide it in the bush um, growing in the middle of the atrium pool and try to find out what it was. Chrysius brought his wife over to the bench beside the pool and made her sit down. He sat next to her. Flavia, he began very seriously, we have a problem, a big problem. Is it perilous, she asked. As well she might because I could see perilous ba balancing on the ridge of the villa roof high above their heads at that very moment, the idiot. No, it's not perilous, Chrissy's side. Is it hysteria? asked Flavia, listening to the little choking sobs coming from Hysteria's room, where she was still moaning over Scorcher's imprisonment. No, it's not hysteria, Chrissy's answered. Hmm, is it flippers floppers, perhaps? No, it's not flippers floppers. Is it fus fusia? No, growled Chrysius, becoming irritated. It's not Fusia. Is it, uh, mad as bananas over the road? No. Is it trendier? Chrysius suddenly put his hand over Flavia's mouth. Look, if you listen, everyone we know in the streets... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look, if you list everyone we know in the street, this will take hours. Just listen to me. This is serious, Flavia. We have a problem at the Imperial Mint. One of Flavia's eyebrows shot up. I do so wish I could do that. My toes were, were curling again. Oh, but surely you don't mean we, darling. You mean you have a problem. I don't work at the Mint, Chrissius, darling. All right, I have a problem at work. We're losing money. But darling, I thought you made money. How can you lose money if you make money? That doesn't make sense. No, you're right, said Chrissius, who was now looking not only worried, but irritated and confused. It doesn't. That's, that's what the problem is. We are supposed to be making money, but we're losing it. I've spoken to the, with my deputy, Fibus Bigus, and we have realised that there's only one explanation. The money is disappearing. Flavia's hand shot to her mouth. <gasps> no. Yes. No. Yes, repeated Chrysius. No, no. Flavia, if you say that once more, 
I shall push you in the pond. I decided it was time to put in an appearance before Flavia was drowned. Ahem, ahem, I croaked, poking out my handsome head. I was just taking a little nap in this bit of shrubbery here when I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. I think I have a solution. Chrysius didn't seem at all impressed by the way I barged in on them, but Flavia was more for forgiving. Really, Crookbag? You know the answer. Well, I think I do. I do understand that outwardly I manifest the appearance of being little more than a large black bird. What you can't see is that beneath the, f the tufty feathers all over my skull lies an extraordinary brain of immense ingenuity and cognitive, cognitive power. What's that supposed to mean? Chris, Chris is grumbled. I sighed. What was the point in trying to impress the unimpressive, unimpressible? So I got to the point. The reason money is disappearing from the mint is because no doubt someone is taking it. There is a thief in your midst. Flavia's eyes grew wide and Chris stared into his lap. That is what I was afraid of, he muttered. He muttered. It's the only answer. It's the only answer, I nodded. Chrysus wiped a hand around his chin. Once the Emperor hears of this, there'll be big trouble. I could lose my job, the villa, everything. Flavia grasped Chris's hand in hers. No, that mustn't happen. We will find out who the thief is and bring him to justice. Or her, I pointed out. We'll get him thrown in jail, insisted Flavia. Or her, I added. So there we are. Bit of a problem. Scorcher has somehow managed to join the green team, even though he's still in jail. And there's a thief at work at the Imperial Mint. Perilous is now doing handstands on the roof ridge and Hysteria is taking a bath in her own tears. What on earth is going to happen next? I have no idea. But isn't it exciting? Go on, give us a biscuit. Crack! Well, what is going to happen next indeed? Watch out for the next instalment of Romans on the Rampage, coming in 2016. <gasps> They've left us on a cliffhanger. Oh, that's the end of the book. Oh no, how are they going to find out who's been stealing? Oh, and how are they going to get him out of jail? Oh. Oh dear right so <laughs> that's the end of the book i am uh, i just want to read more fortunately i do have the next book already on my kindle ready to go so we can start that straight away tomorrow well i hope you enjoyed the book um i thought it was fabulous but i do want to read more which is why authors do that because it makes makes people want to read their next book so the obviously the end of the book is um the the chariot race um, and um, so that's that's like the final scene. That's where the book's been leading up to. But it's now giving you a new extra twist, which will come in the next book. How amazing! How exciting! Okay, well, I will join you tomorrow for the next episode, or not the next episode, the new book, which I'll introduce to you then. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Look out for the comprehension questions coming up on your learning platform very soon. Take care.